Okay, in this video, we're going to specifically show you how to use your Android device with the EOS Aero RTK receiver. Uh, for this example, we're going to use the Aero Gold, and we're going to show you how to use it with Collector. So there's a few settings in Collector that we're going to want to set up. In a previous video, we showed you how to get in here, how to connect to your RTK network with your credentials, how to select your mount point or your nearest base station depending on the type of network you're in. And then let's pop back over here. Then we can see that we're doing about a centimeter horizontal accuracy. Uh, we have our RTK fix and our diff age is coming in. So every two seconds right now through cell service, I'm receiving the RTK correction from my local network. So from here, what we're going to do is go ahead and go back to our home screen and I'm going to go into collector. So I'm just popping straight into settings in collector and I'm already logged in. There's a couple things that we need to do in settings before we start collecting data. This is important to keep in mind if you're regardless of whether or not you're using RTK corrections or just submeter corrections from the SBAS or WAS satellites overhead. In collector, the default streaming interval is five seconds. This means that every five seconds, Collector is talking to your external receiver to get your latitude and longitude positional information. We don't want that. We want it to be as quickly as possible. So you always want to change this to one second. Now we have this change to one second. The other thing that we need to do is come in here for our location provider. We're actually going to leave it on integrated because of the mock location system that Android uses. It's different than iOS if you're accustomed to iOS. So we're gonna leave this as integrated. However, we did not put our antenna height inside EOS Tools Pro. We didn't set that. We wanna set it instead in here in Collector. So if we click on details here, we can actually put our information here. Now something to keep in mind is range poles are not always two meters. Sometimes they're two meters and a centimeter, two meters and half a centimeter. There's, so there's a little variation depending on manufacturer. So you definitely, if elevation is very important for you to the centimeter level for your work, definitely want to take a chance to measure the exact height of your range pole with the antenna mounted uh, on top of it. So with the aerial receiver antenna mounted on top of it and examine what that uh, height is. For EOS poles, and for the Aero Gold, uh, we can put down 2.04, so 2 meters and 4 centimeters with the uh, antenna mounted. If you have an Aero 200, it's actually going to be 2.09. And we're using Aero Gold, so we're going to use 2.04. And we're going to get back out of here. So now we fixed our stream interval, so it's one second. We've set our antenna height on our EOS two meter range pole. And the other important thing we have to do here is collection profile. And in a previous video, we showed you how to set up a collection profile for collector. So please refer to that. Uh, I've already gone in and made one, so I'm going to choose it here. Now we're all set and ready to go we can go ahead and go back to our main page here with our maps. I'm going to go into my demo map here. Now we can see down here uh, we're getting one centimeter horizontal estimated accuracy in real time being fed straight from our receiver into collector and if we click on this the very cool thing is it pops up it tells us yes you're connected to the arrow gold that you're doing this demo with and we can see our fixed time it's continually being updated. That's very good. Uh, estimated horizontal and vertical accuracy. We do have an RTK fix at the moment and our correction age is two seconds. And we have already enabled our RTK location profile or correction profile inside the settings for a collector. So we're ready to go. So what we can do is we'll just go ahead and collect uh, a point real quick to show you and how cool this is, so we're gonna go test. Then when we set up this data project, we set it up so that we could enable the GNSS metadata capture fields inside Collector, so that it's automatically going to save uh, the extra fields of data straight from our receiver. So let's go ahead and save it. 
and we'll take a look at it just to show you an example. And you can see it recorded that we were connected to an error receiver and I just called it test very simply. You can see our horizontal and vertical accuracy, latitude, longitude, our fixed type, our correction age, and we were utilizing 13 satellite.